I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today we're going to talk about an unexpected math wizard. Born to Tobias Danzig and Anja Orison, George Bernard Danzig is an award-winning, record-breaking mathematician who solved mathematics questions that had remained unsolved since the days of Einstein. Tobias Danzig was born in Russia and moved to France where he studied mathematics. There he met Anja, who was also studying mathematics at the time, and after their marriage, they immigrated to Portland, Oregon, USA. When George Danzig was born, his parents had hoped for him to become a writer. Therefore, they chose names for him hoping it would influence his future career, and they named him George Bernard after the famous George Bernard Shaw. The Danzig family moved around for a while and finally settled in Washington, where his mother became a linguist at the Library of Congress while his father landed a job at the University of Maryland, College Park. At Powell Junior High School, George Danzig became greatly fascinated by a geometry, an interest which was greatly influenced by his father, who regularly challenged him with highly complicated mathematical problems of linear geometry origin. After high school, Danzig decided to study mathematics at the University of Maryland, where his father had become professor in the mathematics faculty. In 1936, Danzig earned his BS in mathematics and physics from the University of Maryland, and in 1938, he soon earned his master's degree in mathematics from the University of Michigan. Before the outbreak of World War II, Danzig had written to Professor Jerzy Nyman, seeking for the position of assistantship at Berkeley so he could complete his doctoral studies after he had obtained his MA in mathematics under T.H. Hildebrandt, R.L. Wilder, and G.Y. Rayner. Nyman soon arranged for the assistantship, and Danzig began his graduate studies. George Danzig often told the story of how he arrived late to class for one of Nyman's lectures one Monday morning to find some math problems on the board, unaware that they were meant for purposes of illustration. Danzig hurriedly copied them down, thinking they were homework problems. A few days later, he approached Nyman and apologized for having taken so long to solve the homework questions, admitting that the problem seemed a little harder than usual. He inquired if Nyman still needed the work, and was told to throw it on the desk, something he did reluctantly, fearing that with the amount of papers on the desk, his work may be lost forever. He and his wife were awakened two weeks later by someone banging on the door on a Sunday morning. When he got to the door, it was Nyman. He was so excited, talking about how he had already written an introduction to one of Danzig's papers, demanding he read it so it could be sent out for publishing. So it turns out, the problems on the board weren't just homework problems, but famous unsolved problems in statistics. Danzig signed up with the United States Air Force during the outbreak of the Second World War as a civilian and was head of Combat Analysis Branch USAF Headquarters Statistical Control, thus putting his doctoral program on hold. His contributions to the field of mathematics during and after the war made him a widely celebrated achiever. One of such breakthroughs was his famous simplex method of optimization. He influenced the planning process during the war by introducing programming in a linear structure, a process that put a whole lot of variables into one equation, from logistics to planning, feeding, and even production, and allowed for better decision making and greater effectiveness. After the war, he was awarded the War Department Exceptional Civilian Medal in 1944. In 1946, he returned to Berkeley to complete the requirements of his program and received his PhD. Danzig went on to become a research mathematician in 1952, working with the RAND Corporation during which he led work on implementing linear programming on computers. In the 1950s and 60s, Dr. Danzig broadened his simplex method to solving problems on economic models as well as other industries, including, but not limited to, minimizing paper waste in the printing industry. He also went ahead to develop another principle, the Danzig-Wolf Decomposition Principle, which is applied in solving problems involving vast amounts of data used in logistics and planning. This work allows, for example, the scheduling of crews and fleet assessment by an airline company. This could also be used by shipping companies in determining the number of cargo planes they need for a particular amount of cargo. He soon went on to become a professor of industrial engineering and consequently founded and directed the Operations Research Center at UC Berkeley. He became a member of the National Academy of Science, 
National Academy of Engineering, and the American Academy of Arts and Science. Danzig received many awards, including the von Neumann Theory Prize in Operational Research in 1975, the National Model of Science Award, the National Academy of Science Awards in Applied Mathematics and Numerical Analysis, among other honors and recognitions. George Bernard Danzig is said to have contributed more to the development of linear programming than any other researcher in history. So, did you know about this surprising math genius? Leave a comment below with your thoughts on this subject or to suggest topics for upcoming episodes. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Also, you can hit this button right here to subscribe for more content just like this, and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I upload. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and as always, thanks for watching.